watch this vibrato. I've had so many people asking me, how do you do vibrato? How can I, when can I learn to play to do the vibrato? How does it work? How do you shake your hand? You know, shake everything. How does it work? Some people think it just happens and you don't need to be taught. Some people say, oh, it's a natural thing that happens. Either you can do it or not. And I think that's completely wrong. So I'm going to start teaching you how to do it. First thing, first thing you need to remember to do vibrato is the hand needs to be nice and soft. Yes? Not gripping the violin neck, not gripping the strings. It needs to be nice and soft. A bit like when we do shifting. So maybe we could try just going up and down the string like this. That's it. Nice and soft, especially the thumb. Make sure it's not left by itself. Is to move with everyone else, nice and soft. The very, very first thing I would like you to try is I would like you to try to tap your thumb. Okay, so this is the first thing I want you to tap, to see how soft it can be. I'm gonna tap it, we're gonna go up and down like this, sideways, also up and down. Good, sideways again. Now we're gonna try to go in circles. Yeah. Very good. Now let's go the other way. Oof, this is harder. Good. Now, this is the first exercise I would like you to do. We're gonna play, let's just play something really simple like Twinkle in G major, starting three on D. And at the same time, you're going to be tapping your thumb. Okay? So, there we go. Let's start tapping the thumb, and then we're going to do the other movement again. Tapping sideways, up and down, and circles one way and circles the other way. Are we ready? Three and D. Tapping. Sideways. Up and up. Don't worry how it sounds. Circle. You can keep trying this. You can try different pieces like this. I just try Twinkle because that's the easiest to start with. Now we put the violin down, so we're safe. And I would like you to get your violin hand and your bow hand together, like the wrist. Good. And imagine you're a shark and you're gonna... There we go. Like you're eating something fish or whatever it is you're eating with a shark. Could be something else, could be a sh crocodile. It's very important that we keep it round. Yes? We don't want it flat. It's not this, it's this. And you notice, it's not the finger that is moving, it's the whole of the hand from the wrist. Good, could also be like this. Okay. One will lead to arm vibrato, the other one to wrist vibrato. This is rib vibrato, this is arm vibrato. In a very simple way. Good. Now, with your bow arm, with your right hand, you make a fist, okay? And we're gonna bring it here and we're gonna cover it with your left hand, with your violin arm. The one that we want to do the vibrato with, we're gonna go open and close. Imagine it's like a shell covering, that's it. Covering a pearl, maybe. Good. Again, you can also do it with the whole arm. 
Good. Good. Nice and shake. Remember, the most important is that we keep nice and loose, so don't get tense. Okay, whatever you do, make sure that it's nice and soft. Very good. So now that we've done this, um, we're going to go to another part of the vibrato, which is the finger action. See with the violin arm again? Try to push this knuckle down. Again, this is really soft. Let's do it with all the fingers. Good. Very good. And even the pinky. We keep it nice and soft. We can do it. That's it. It's a bit tricky, the pinky. There we go. Now, the same way that we did it with, can we do it without the finger? That's it. Nice and soft. Just checking that the this knuckle is able to move slowly. Very good. Oops, this is going to be fast. Slowly. Slowly. Good. And the pinky, that's the hardest one. We keep trying. You will get there. Notice the third finger is moving as well. It's because they're connected here. That's okay. We don't mind that for now. It's just we need the flexibility here in the, in the pinky. Good. We could also try with the both hands, like this. Imagine the fishes. Good. And the other one. This is going to be good also for your bow hand when you're doing flexible fingers. So it's, it's a good exercise for both hands. Can you try one stretching and the other one going round there? Good coordination there, second finger. Good. Third finger. There we go. I get confused with the camera. And very good. Shake, shake, shake. Well done. Now we're going to try something else, which is you're going to put your arm here, your left hand, and then you're going to put your right arm on top, like you're going to cut it. Good. Now, we want to have the thumb of the left hand on the palm. Yeah, nice and soft, kind of hanging from it. And now imagine with your left hand, you're going to move up and down. Up and down. Imagine like you want to cut your hand from behind, from underneath. There we go. The back of your hand. It doesn't have to be too hard. It's just to get this nice movement here. Good. There we go. Put your hand here. See? That's going to be the same movement that we're going to be doing for the vibrato. Could also also just be the wrist or the whole arm. Depending on which vibrato we want to use. We'll talk about that later. Wrist, the arm. Wrist, the arm. Good. You can keep doing it like this as well. It's confusing. Just the wrist, just the arm. So the same way that we were doing this, we put the fingers down. We go up and down. Nice and round fingers. Again, remember, all very soft, the thumb is soft. Fingers are really soft. They're, not, they're just they're hardly touching the screen. It's like they're tickling yourself at the back of your hand. Good. Very good. Only the wrist. Whole arm. Wrist. Arm. Now that we've done this, we're going to choose one finger only. We do it this way, so you can see better. And you're going to roll it. You're going to roll it. The same, it's the same action that you were doing before. 
but just one finger. So the finger is rolling. Yeah? And it's not moving up and down like before the finger, it's just kind of staying in one place. And it's rolling, 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 rolling. Like this. Good. Same thing that we were doing before, but it's kind of you're pulling it back and forwards. That's it. Second finger. Making it round, making it straight, round and straight. Third finger. You can again do it this way if you want. You can see how it rolls. See it's rocking from one side to the other. And the action is just that same movement that we started with at the beginning. Just at this time we have one finger down. Pinky, same thing. And you see how you can change from one finger to the other? And it doesn't really matter because the movement is always the same. It's not the finger that is moving, it's the whole arm or the wrist that is moving. The finger is the anchor. The finger is the one that is not moving, it's just rolling around. Or rocking from one side to the other. Rocking from one side to the other, wrist or arm. Excellent. Good. I'm going to get a violin. And before we put it up, I want you to try it this way. So remember the movement we just did like this. Now we're going to use it on the violin. So we're going to put the thumb at the back, right there, where the neck of the violin starts. And then we're going to go up and down, like this. You can just gently put all the fingers on the strings. One, two, three, four. One on each string is easy. Thumb at the back. The hand is resting on the violin. Really nice and easy. And we just go up and down. It's like you're waiting for something and you're just moving the arm up and down. No effort. Really nice and soft. Everything really soft. Remember the tapping? Nice and soft. Very good. You can also do it the same way without moving the thumb, just moving the whole arm up and down. Can see better like this? Up and down. See the thumb is not moving. And then you press the hand and you do it just with the wrist. And that will be for the wrist vibrato. Same thing on the I'll put the violin on the shoulder. Thumb is in the same place, fingers in the same place. We start with the wrist resting here and we go up and down again really nice and soft remember the secret of vibrato is being really soft that's it and with the arm remember to anchor the thumb there the thumb doesn't move here same thing here you can see the thumb there Good. We can also try putting just one finger with the other hand just there, and then with the first finger, we're going to try to reach it up and down, up, down, up, down. Try to make it nice and rhythmic. Just try with a different finger. Third finger, different string. And your own time you can try different fingers and different strings. See, it's not the finger that is moving, it's the whole of the hand. You can also do it with the whole arm. Different fingers, different strings. You can see wrist only arm. Wrist arm. Good. And it's very important that we keep our hand resting here. We could just be doing first position at the moment, or maybe you know how to do third position, but the most important is, for now, let's do it here. It doesn't matter which position we are. We're just resting the hand here. The thumb can be nice and soft, and the fingers can move easily. And for the moment, this is all I want you to practice for the moment. Get it really good first, really nice and soft 
before we involve the bow. We don't want to involve the bow until we know that this is moving the right way and it's nice and soft. Because at the moment it's not going to sound very good. So it's better to leave the bow away. Just leave it there. Just make sure you have a nice position and all this is nice and soft. Remember to hold well with your head.